We go to Wolco Valley for this independent matchup, and the Rangers convert on third down here as Kevin Cook on the stretch handoff picks up nine yards and a first down to the Lawrenceville 47. And on the next play, the senior running back becomes the school's all-time leading rusher with this 13-yard gain as he breaks current Wolco assistant coach Kevin Lukic's record of 2,712 yards. Congratulations, Kevin. Okay, Lawrenceville, which runs the wishbone, gets a taste of the Wolf Hill defense here as Kajay Cowens lays the wood on quarterback Patrick Long on the option run for a loss of two yards, forcing a big red punt. And on the punt, the Rangers muff it, and Bo Fitzpatrick recovers for the big red at the Wolf Hill Valley 19-yard line. But watch Wolf Hill's outstanding sophomore linebacker Bobby Russell with his great stop as he drops Walker Kirby for a loss, and we have no score after one quarter in this defensive battle. Wolko gets the ball back, and after a heavy helping of Kevin Cook, the Rangers mix it up and give it to Kaji Cowens, who fakes out the Lawrenceville defense, and he goes up the gut for 69 yards and a TD, and the Rangers take a 6-0 lead early in the second quarter. Now watch the Wolko defense go to work here. This time it's Keith Yearwood with a diving interception near midfield for the Rangers, but Wolko Valley is unable to take advantage. All right, watch Brian Gallagher of Wolko make this great tackle as he rips down Wolko Kirby for a loss, ending another big red possession with a punt. On its next possession, the Rangers go to the Wildcat, but the snap is high and the Big Red take over on the fumble recovery at the eight. Big turnover right there for the Rangers. And this time, the Big Red cash it in as Devin Batts plows in from six yards out, and after the PAT, Lawrence will lead 7-6 with 5.26 left in the first half. Wolko looks to retake the lead before the half, and on the punt attempt, the Rangers go into their bag of tricks as Cowens takes the direct snap, hands it off to Mike Buvis, for a 20-yard game, but once again, Wolko can't score, and the Rangers trail 7-6 at the half. Okay, Lawrenceville looks to put this low-scoring game away with a touchdown here, but watch Bobby Russell from Wolko come up with a big stop for the Rangers to stop the Big Red as Wolko holds, and they still trail by one as we go into the fourth quarter. All right, time is ticking away on the Rangers, and they face a big third down here, but watch Kajay Cowens fight his way for the first down to keep the drive alive for the Rangers. Walker Valley is now facing a fourth and long from the Lawrenceville 26, and the pass falls incomplete. But wait a second, there's a flag on the field, and the Big Red are called for roughing the passer, and the Rangers are still alive, and they have the ball on the Big Red 6. But the Rangers stole and opt to go for three as they set up for a potential game-winning field goal, but the 26-yard kick goes wide, and Lawrenceville holds on for a physical 7-6 win over the Rangers, who fall to 5-3 and, and wait their state tournament fate. That was a physical game. They're, you know, they're a big team, and uh, you know we tried to go at them, and came up a little short on the end, end of the stick there. Now you guys have to sit around because Bergen County, some some of the teams in that section have a game. But your thoughts about upcoming state playoffs and you guys' position there? I mean, you know, it's it's a scramble at the end. Who's going to end up where? But you know, if we get in and when we get in, we're going to be excited to get there, and uh, we're going to be ready to play.